A lot of times they say if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. But that's not always the case. For today's video, I wanted to share some of the best Disney pin deals that I have found on eBay. With this, I'm not talking about pins that I purchased at a relatively low cost that then gained value over time and so I technically got a deal on them. I'm talking about pins that the current market value is significantly higher and there's much more demand than what I paid for them. So these are all deals that would seem too good to be true, but they in fact are real. I'll say when you really want to become a good pin eBay deal hunter is you need to become familiar with who are those counterfeit sellers because that's where you might see what might seem to be a deal but really it's just a cheap fake pin. Once you become a little bit more adept at kind of ensuring that an eBay seller seems safe, you can find some really awesome deals. From a very young age, my mother instilled in me skills of bargain hunting so I'm always looking for the best value and find that I can get. I'd say these pins that I got were kind of split between buy it now versus pins that were on auction. Oftentimes with pins on auction, you might be able to get them for a little bit cheaper because that's dependent on another person at the same time also looking for that pin and wanting to bid on it. And sometimes just the fact of seeing people have already bid on a pin, you might not want to put in the effort of getting bids in. So sometimes things on auction can go for a lower price than maybe they otherwise would. And then sometimes there are just buy it now items that are really cheap. Sometimes it's just somebody who's looking to sell something quick. Other times it might be an account that's maybe a, just a general reseller, like they're not focused on pins and maybe an estate sale they came across some pins so they're just kind of listing them without maybe being fully aware of what the potential value could be. But I love hunting for pin deals and quickly before I go into showing the actual pins, I wanted to give some quick tips for how to find these deals. Now normally when I'm buying pins on eBay, I'll automatically search what I'm looking for and then sort from lowest to highest price. But that's when I'm looking for something specific. And with these, generally it's not that I was right away looking for them, it's kind of I came across them. And so oftentimes I'll put in a bit of a more general search term like Disneyland pin and then I'll sort them from newest listed. So obviously pins that are at really good prices are going to get snapped up pretty quickly. So a lot of times I'll want to sort and see what the newest listings are and if there's a deal I want to be the first ones to grab it. Alternatively, you can switch it to list where it's going to sort by ending soonest, where maybe there is something that was up on auction and that it's just about coming to an end and maybe you can get a bid in. But with deals, generally I find these by searching by newly listed and so it'll be a little bit more up to luck rather than per se trying to sort by lowest to highest price. I find that's better when you are like for sure looking for something specific and like you're planning on buying it no matter what and you just want to make sure you get the best price on that. But anyways, on to the pin deals. I'm going to start off with my most recent deal find and that is this Disneyland Castle window pin. This was actually quite an older open edition pin and it was part of a series of window pins designed after the windows that you see in the stained glass at Cinderella's Castle at the Magic Kingdom. And this is the one representing Disneyland out in California. This is such a beautiful pin because it has a lovely gold frame. It has these beautiful gem accents around the edge. And this is a pin that I've had on my want list for a while. This pin is a very highly desired pin. On pin picks, it has 302 wanting and only 33 trading. And on eBay, you'll typically see these listed and going for around 40 to $45. And I got this pin for $9.99. This pin was a case where I had typed in Disneyland pin, sort from show me what is the newest listings. And then this one came up. I was like, oh my gosh, $10 for this awesome pin. One that I've been looking for. Deal, you can't pass up. I have a few more Disneyland pins coming up. Dun, dun, da, da, da. This is the Disneyland retro marquee pin that I have been looking for. This was a pin that I included in my pins miss video on Disney pins I wish I had and I got it for a deal on eBay. This was released as part of Disneyland's 50th anniversary celebration and it again was just an open edition pin. 
but another pretty highly desired one, 172 wanting with only 45 trading. Other listings for this pin on eBay go for around $60 to $70, so that's why I had it on my video of pins I wish I had, because it's such an awesome pin, but all of the listings were just so expensive. But I won this in an auction for $26, including shipping. This now marks off two pins that I've been able to find from my Disney Pins I Wish I Had video. This next pin is also from Disneyland's 50th anniversary. This is part of the Magical Milestones pin celebration series, and this is commemorating Disneyland's opening day ticket. It's a limited edition of 1500, and it comes in this pretty jazzy collector's box. I would classify this as like a jumbo pin. It is pretty large, but it's commemorating the opening day ticket to Disneyland. You could get in for $1 total. On the base it says first day ticket July 18th 1955 so July 17th was the opening day of Disneyland and this was the first like actual day open to the public this was not a pin that I was looking for again it was you know I just like to search Disneyland pin as a term I really am liking to collect kind of classic Disneyland branded pins so I've been in those search terms a lot and I feel like this was one that I had put a, maybe a bid in for there are 80 people wanting this pin and only 17 trading it on pin picks and on eBay these kind of range quite a lot in you know their listing price and what they're going for this is valued in between around $50 to $100. I think I recently saw a pretty big seller list one of these for $200. I didn't pay nearly as much. I got this for $9.99. This will end up being pretty nice in my Disneyland pin collection. In terms of collections, I like to collect Splash Mountain and Tower of Terror. And this pin is a Tower of Terror pin that I didn't know if I would really be able to find because it is so cool, but it was even better that I got a great deal on it. This is actually a 3D diorama Tower of Terror pin. These pins are so cool, but it has Donald as a bellhop. And then if you open up the doors of the elevator, which slide you can see, Minnie and Mickey are in the ride and they're looking scared huddled together. This is such a cool tower pin. It is over 10 years old and it's from Mickey's Pin Odyssey. Pretty highly desired, 102 wanting on pin picks and only 24 trading. Now, as of filming, there were basically like no other listings for this pin. You almost never see this put up for sale on eBay. I did find one other that was listed at about $55, but I was able to buy this pin for $10.50. This is the first 3D diorama pin that I've ever had, and these are so cool. Like I said, I like to collect Splash Mountain and Tower of Terror pins, and so here I have a Splash Mountain pin. This is actually a WDI Walt Disney Imagineering LE 250 pin, and this is the Splash Mountain Disneyland e-ticket calendar pin. So when you open it up, you can see the gang. And then this was a calendar for July 2017. What's interesting is that there is actually an error on this pin. Instead of saying July 20th, it says July 29th. So kind of funny, and all the pins were made with this error. I like to keep it displayed on my pin board open like this so you can see the whole Brer gang. This I feel like I won in auction. Now some of these pins I got more recently, some of them are older. I really had to dig through my eBay purchase history. So I got this one a little time ago. But right now there are 48 people on pin picks who want it and only two people who are trading this. And on eBay currently this goes for between $50 to $60. I got this for $19.99, and what's awesome is that the retail price is $19.95. So I got this right, basically right at cost. It would definitely actually be under cost because tax would bring that over to $20. So this was definitely a great deal. Next is just a really simple older open edition pin, and this is Lilo holding Pudge the Fish. This was released in 2003, and it's one of those OE pins that really has gained value over time. There are 148 people on pin picks who want it, but only 39 who are trading it. Typically, these go for around $30 to $40, but I was able to buy this for $10. I do remember when I got this, it came with a locking pin back on it, and it was one of those kind where you need the little screwdriver, and I have never used any of those. I don't have any of those tools, so it took a really long time to being able to like finagle it off. But since I was able to get it so cheap, 
wasn't too fussed about it. I'm gonna end off with some Zootopia pins. And here I just have this little guy. This is a Nick Wilde Banana Tsum Tsum pin from Hong Kong Disneyland. This was a Hidden Mickey pin, but with there, some of their Hidden Mickey pins are actually game prize pins. Sometimes you have to win the game to actually get these. Other times they're just participation. So I don't know quite for sure what category these fall into, but they have become very rare, nearly impossible to find. So I'm guessing it had to do more so with winning or either they were out for a very short amount of time. I remember I actually won this in auction for only $6.50, which I was very happy about. There are 55 people who want it on pin picks, but only six who are trading. There currently are no other comps for this pin on eBay, so you can't even find it. Like I said, it's really hard to find, and I feel like I may have seen it earlier, like maybe on Facebook or whatnot, for around like $30. But when there are no other comps even on eBay, that definitely does kind of give you an indication of the value. And then finally, I'm gonna end with this Zootopia, or actually Zootropolis 3-pin Disney Store LE800 pin set. These were released from the Disney Store both in the US and in Europe right around when Zootopia came out, and this had an outrageous obscene retail price. These three pins retailed for like $70. Actually, I wonder if it might have been more. Looking at the back, it says this retailed for 75 euros and 65 pounds. So maybe it was even more than that, but either way, that's crazy for just three pins. So even though these were like still in stock, it's like, I can't, I'm not gonna spend that much money on just three pins, but lo and behold, this was actually quite a long time ago now, I saw this come up from a UK seller for only 30 pounds, which converts to around $40. I know at least at some point these went on sale on the UK Disney Store, I think because people were like, this is just a crazy retail, but I feel like it might have been before that, so I don't know exactly how I was able to get it for so cheap and so far under retail, but I'm so thankful that I was able to find it because otherwise I don't think I would be able to get these pins. And interestingly, the Nick and Finnick and Judy pins have gotten so heavily faked. They've been faked for such a long time now and they just flood eBay but Mr. Big has never been faked. So the only way you can find Mr. Big is actually from one of these sets. So I'm very thankful to have the real deal here. All right, so those were just some of my best Disney pin deal finds on eBay. This strictly was eBay. I have gotten some other pretty good pin deals on Facebook, but it's much easier to look through your eBay purchase history. And I feel like you sometimes can get better deals on eBay because in the pin groups, people are like very specific oftentimes about pin values. And sometimes you can get people like, you know, just doing a flash sale or getting rid of stuff and getting a good deal. But if you are a savvy eBay shopper, you can kind of wade through the kind of not real deals or too good to be true deals and find the actual good deals where you can get like a $50 pin for $10. If you've ever gotten a really awesome deal on a Disney pin, I'd love to know. Obviously, I think you can tell from my channel that I kind of stick with like deals as much as I can. Most of the hauls that I do are Disney store outlet hauls. I like to go for like discounted or on sale stuff as much as I can. And when you're looking for deals, it also is a pretty fun hunt. But thanks for watching.